Even in prayer, there is unease here. A holy place seems to offer no sanctuary for Afghanistan's Shia community. When the Taliban came, we felt safe. But after the attacks in Kunduz and Kandahar, we feel very much at risk. The Taliban cannot ensure security for us, as they promised. Despite that, we continue to come to pray, even in fear, even if we have to die here. Even here in this, in this mosque, we have witnessed uh, attacks by Daesh, suicide attacks by Daesh. We feel afraid, uh, even everywhere. Not only here, during praying, everywhere we go because we are uh, witnessed, because we are recognized by our faces. We are Hazara, we are, and Hazaras are mostly Shia. Last Friday, ISIL in Afghanistan said it was behind this attack on a Shia mosque in Kandahar. The province is the Taliban stronghold. It was the second attack on a Shia mosque in a week the first in the northern province of Kunduz. It's causing increased worry here in the capital among the Shia community. They say no one feels safe. This is a majority Shia area of Kabul and the area has suffered numerous attacks over the last couple of years. Mosques have been attacked, girls schools have been attacked, mini buses have been attacked, weddings have been attacked and even gunmen entering a maternity ward killing pregnant women in their beds. There is a constant unpredictable fear here of when the next attack may come. Most of those attacks were claimed by ISIL in Afghanistan. The armed group attacked this mosque too, the largest in dasht e -Barchi. Taliban officials have said they will do more to protect the Shia community, but we didn't see any Taliban presence in this area while we visited. We used to have five guards. They had salaries and weapons. Now the Taliban said they should return to work, but they haven't returned. There's no money. The risk is high, especially during Friday's prayer. The Taliban patrols on Fridays, but the risk remains high. The Shia, and particularly the Hazara community, has long been persecuted here in Afghanistan. Mohammed is a student at Kabul University, which remains closed. Do you want the Taliban to do more to protect this area? Of course, it is the visual request of uh, not only Hazar and Shia, who are the target of terrorist attacks, but all the people of Afghanistan wants from Taliban to do more, not only in, uh, in case of security, but in case of economic, in case of uh, trust between the Taliban and the people. These are uncertain times for Afghanistan Shia community and for so many other Afghans. All tell us, they hope, Taliban leaders can deliver on their promise to protect minorities and provide security for everyone across the country. Stephanie Decker, Al Jazeera, Kabul.